Daybreak in the rural city of Akakeek, Maryland, located 30 minutes from the nation's capital. Ronaldo Gaines arises to a new day of training and pain. Finally waking up, he takes one look at his little brother who, at the same time, continues to slumber in the same bed. And a proverbial breakfast of champions is on the way. A light starch diet of oatmeal is one of many meals this young amateur, soon to be professional fighter, will take on today. As the first adult up in the house today, Nardo Gaines sends a wake-up call to all family members, adults and children alike, as he begins his daily routine of personal hygiene. After collecting his meal, the aforementioned oatmeal breakfast is followed by a few minutes of television, where in the same room, his running partner and cousin, Charles Gaines, continues to sleep. Two more visitors, Letitia Thomas, his mother, and his son, Zion Gaines, introduced themselves to his daily routine. Later, the two training partners prepare for their 4.45 a.m. road workout. A grueling task, the road workout is necessary in the life of not only amateur, but professional boxers as well. The sun begins to rise in Akakeek, Maryland, and as the fellows finish their run at Marshall Hall Park at the mouth of the Potomac River, Charles Gaines continues to hype and motivate young Ronaldo. The younger yet visibly taller Charles Gaines road work is very important and very needed as we near the March 10th showdown between Ronaldo Gaines and Ahmed Pasevic. The Benning Road Recreation Center 
is where young Ronaldo Gaines continues his training as his entourage follows him in. Work time, baby, work time. Letitia weighs in on her son's future as a professional boxer and after leaving the amateur ranks. I just want Ronaldo to do the best he can do. I want him to be on the, the highest level he can be on and, um, you know, just make sure he, he puts his all into it and as long as he's serious and know the severity of it, uh, he, 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 this is his sport, he loves it, so he's going to do what he has to do and I'm proud of him. The fighter's father, Ronald Thomas, weighs in on his son's chances, his heart, and his personal expectations. I said we started a long time ago, and being an athlete myself, and me not being successful in the sport that I love, I know what it's going to take the dedication for him to get there, and I tell him that all the time. It wasn't that the talent that kept me away, it was the mental part. Yeah, you know, me not doing the things that I was supposed to do to be successful. And for me to sit and watch other guys that I know I'm better than and, and on Sundays and watch them play, he don't want to go through that. You know what I mean? You don't want to look back 10 years from now tomorrow, I used to fight him and this, that, and the other. We don't want to hear that. We want you to do what you're supposed to do, get in that gym and, and, and have a successful, a successful career in what you're doing because if you don't do the right thing, you're going to be sitting around like the other neighborhood guys tomorrow, which you used to do. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want to take that path. So as a father, i got to give him the motivational factors, the speeches that he don't want to hear sometime. And, you know, we get into it from time to time, but that's what father and son do. But at the end of the day, I know he are listening to what I'm saying. Paint his hair is what the mural in the background, the Benning Park Recreational Center says. I'm ready to Let's go. Shoot it, y'all. Good. Shoot it Brother Stephen Gaines adds his unique form of brotherly love towards his brother's drive and motivation for his upcoming fight on March the 10th. I think he's going to have a mixture of butterflies and he's going to see the bright lights in it. Once that bell rings, it's, it's on. That's, that's his life right there. And once we get that W, we're we going to be going to the top. He comes to me, Nardo, when he throw that brick, Fluff, Fluff, get out of there if you throw it. Fluff his mouth. Fluff him again, Nardo. Turn him up behind the elbow. Good. Choose that. Show that work. Show that work. Let's go. Go back. Go back. Girlfriend Denise Cole, another strong support system and the mother of his son, Zion, utilizes her soft yet social and emotional support for the young Ronaldo Gaines. I motivate him, I push him, I give him pet talks every day, let him know he's going to make it, let him know he's good, get him out there to go work out every day, make him eat right. You know, he, I'm a good support system. I support him in everything he does, and I just want him to do good. Let's go! 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 let us go let us go let us go Trainer's job is never done, as Coach Malcolm, as he's affectionately known, explains where his fighter is mentally and physically. 
also the direction and future of not only himself but team games well, first of all to get him to that next level we have to have Nardo train mentally first a lot of people think it's physical but 90 percent of this game is mental so i like to work on Nardo's mental state have him mentally fit for the get for the fight then he can assess the plan for me with the physical parts i put in like i said Nardo puts a lot of hard work in so, you know, six days a week, we work, we do it, and he just does what he does. You know what I'm saying? The rest is the ice, icing on the cake for me. I just think Nardo's a great kid. You know what I'm saying? And people need to look out for this kid, man. This kid is a hardworking kid. You know what I'm saying? You're going to miss out if you don't be there March 10th. Trust me, you're going to miss out. Hard work to me means, you know, persevering over anything. Hard work, stand, you just stand your ground. You work, you put your work in. You put your road work in. You put your, you put your heavy bag work in. You come and you get your spawn. You dedicate yourself. You become a gym rat. That's what hard work is about, becoming a gym rat. Most fighters out here today ain't gym rats. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot of fighters out here that can be good, but they not they not gym rats. So they they, they exit the hard work and dedication part. I trust and I had Nardo since he was six. His father and, and I, we, I worked around plenty of gyms with his father and, and, and his family. Uh, I just want a person to know that um, give me a shot. Watch me. Watch what Nardo brings to the table. You, do the, you be the judge. A send-off from ex-pro fighter Michael Ward closes out this exhausting yet extraordinary day. For hear more about Young Ronaldo Gaines, please visit the Boxing Roundtable at www.roundabout.com.